the sixth point that I'm going to cover is about the technologies that I use to create this media product. There are five pieces of software I can remember using, and they would be iMovie, LiveType, Final Cut, Photoshop, and GarageBand. One of the first programs I can remember using is iMovie. I use this basically to upload all of my photos I've taken of still images. Um, so I've taken separate photos of all of my pictures from my storyboard and use iMovie to make an animatic out of it. This is one of the examples of a picture that I would have uploaded onto iMovie. iMovie was a suitable starting point uh, because it's just so simple. You can drag clips in and time things really easily just at the click of a button. GarageBand was the second program I can remember using uh, majorly. I used this to create the score for my animatic and to insert all the appropriate sound effects to make it sound as real as possible. I wanted it to sound like it was actually on top of a multi-story car park even though I was actually just sitting on a Mac computer in the media suite. Being comfortable with these uh, music creation software, it really helped because I already had an entire bank of my own samples that I could upload and create my score very quickly without having to search around for unsigned acts. I could also use the Mac's internal microphone to record a voiceover into it very quickly and alter the levels so the music wasn't too loud for the dialogue. I created my titles manually so I just took pictures and then uploaded them into Photoshop. So I was using a Kodak camera basically to take pictures of writing I'd actually done and then cutting it manually and the product ended up looking something like this. I think having quite a DIY approach really suited my social realist genre. Um, so, especially with my main title, I mean that crush looks very ripped out like it has just been made. I had to do a lot of editing to get it to look more like this. But I think the manual cut tool was very good at um, creating something authentic that suited my genre. So to upload and edit my moving media clips, I used Final Cut Express, the timeline interface which is so useful. It was just so easy to refer back to certain points when I needed to, especially for my blog. I used a Canon FS100 with a tripod. I mean, it added so much meaning just seeing this turn into this. Final Cut was also so good at superimposing my manual titles onto the actual clips themselves. It was so easy and simple to do. Finally, I used LiveType to create my distribution and my production company logos. I think adding the fog light effect onto the big light logo made it look so much more authentic. I mean, it just looked instantly more realistic, like it would actually be in a real film. I also edited the amount that the fog light would shine out of the eye, um, so it did look more readable. I tried to blog my entire thought process on WordPress as well. I think having everything set out in different categories and sections really helped me find where I needed to change my ideas. I mean, I could see easily how far I had to go back to find out where the problems that I was facing were in the first place, so it just helped to keep things organised. I'd definitely say this was one of the key pieces of media technology that I used.